Hey guys, Blakecheck101 with another knife review for you today. Uh, sorry I haven't been doing a lot of knife reviews. Um, I've been really, really busy with all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know how it is. It's just whatever, all kinds of junk. Um, but if you guys want to request any knife, any knife reviews, if I can, if I already have the knife or if the knife is really inexpensive, um, I would love to do the review for you. In fact, that would give me the oomph that I need to, you know, want to do the review. Um, anytime I get requests, you know, I'm like a little kid on Christmas. I love getting requests to do knives. And um, so, like I said, please re request all you want. Uh, if I have it or if I can get it, I will do it. Um, and I'll let you know so you're not in the dark about that too. Um, the knife I am going to be reviewing today is my favorite everyday carry knife uh, for a lot of reasons and I'll go over those during the review. And um, that will be the Benchmade Reptilian. I'm really sorry about the camera quality or the lack thereof. Um, I don't know how to fix my thing and I don't have a camera right now. So this is going to have to suffice. Um, I'm sure you guys know by now what the Benchmade Griptilian looks like. Uh, it's a very popular knife. There's a lot of reviews on it already. However, I gotta put my two cents in about this blade because I am so enamored with this knife. It's uh, definitely my favorite EDC overall. Um, let's get into why. Alright, the specs on the knife. We have a three and a half to three and three quarter inch long blade. Sorry, that's my bird. Um, the handle is, it's almost a one-to-one -one ratio, actually, on that. It's just under. You can see that. Um, it's probably a good four, maybe four and a quarter inch handle. A lot of real estate on the handle. I've got medium-sized hands, and I can, you know, it's a really good grip for me. If you have larger hands, there's still plenty of room for you, too. Um, if you have smaller hands, you know, this knife really, it facilitates just about everyone. Um, it's a little bit wide, the handle is, a little bit thick, and that's fine. Uh, it does offer a really, really good grip. The Griptilian has just that, an amazing grip uh, structure, if that's you know a term I can use. Um, we have jimping all along the back spine here. The uh, plastic jimping is very useful, whereas the metal jimping down here sucks. And the jimping on the back of the of the uh, blade itself is very very functional, very sharp. Uh, not so much it's going to abrade our hands uh, at all, but um, abrade our hands rather at all. But you know, so very much so, so we can lock into it and have a good grip. The uh, jimping under here is also very functional, as far as the plastic jimping goes. Um, in the Zytel, I should say, the pinky also has jimping. The um, back right here in this area also has jimping. It's very nice. Uh, we also have a really good traction plan right here. Wrapping our fingers around that. We're not going anywhere on this knife. The choil, if you can call it that, is relatively deep, but it is functional. Very functional. Uh, you can thrust all day with this knife and you won't slip forward um, onto the blade at all. The uh, Locking mechanism on this knife is the Benchmade Axis Lock. It is world renowned. It is an amazing locking mechanism. It is incredibly strong and it is also incredibly fast. The deployment of the Griptilian, the speed of it is afforded to that locking mechanism. It really is superb. Um, I absolutely love the Axis Lock. It you know puts away just as fast as it comes out. You know you can really just pop it open and sli uh, you know shut it just as fast. And sometimes, not always, but sometimes, getting it out that fast is just as important as putting it away that fast. Or I should put that the other way around. Sometimes putting it away, you know, is just as important as getting it out fast. So. You know, being able to put it away very quickly is necessary, I think. Um, now, I said that this was my favorite everyday carry overall, and it is. Um, I typically will carry, uh, you know, if I 
have a firearm on me at the time or if I am in a state where I'm allowed to carry a firearm because I'm licensed, which is my home state only at this point, um, I do. And I will also carry a backup weapon, i.e. a knife. Um, being a law-abiding citizen, I typically go with knives, I always go with knives that are within the legal limits of that state or that area. The Benjamin Gertillion fits that for my state. Um, you know, like I said, it's with like a three and a half inch long blade and that fits my state's requirements um, or regulations or restrictions. The um, This particular model, by the way, is the 551 Gertillion. Uh, there are others. Uh, let me see if this one has, so I can make reference to it. This is the 550 Griptilian, and I'll go over this knife later, um, with the thumb hole and the sheep's foot style blade and uh, all this. So I'll go over this knife really soon. But the, um, yeah, the Griptilian is a really good choice for someone who's looking for a tactical blade but doesn't want to scare the crap out of people when they take it out. Um, by way of reference, look up the, uh, I think it's Boker Reality Based series of knives um, with the really mean recurves and the, you know, incredibly sharp tips and the weird handles and all that. Um, that's a knife that, quite frankly, if you take out in public, people are going to look at you like, what are you doing? You know, they're going to give you a second look. Something like this, it's very civilian friendly. It's very people friendly. It's not a mean looking knife. You have a drop point, uh, you know, sweep on the blade. It's a very s simple looking blade. That's it. It's a simple looking knife and you know, that makes it nice to carry because if we need to cut something in public it's not going to scare the crap out of people and that's important. Um, I'm not one to be politically correct, however when it comes to something as serious as a knife, yes, knives are awesome, they're fun, they're enjoyable, but when you're talking about knives, it is kind of serious when you're talking about people and knives uh, and their relationships with them. You know, some people feel like knives are only weapons, and those are the people that should be, you know, checked out, not the people who carry the knives as a tool, and then, you know, a backup should the dark day come when we need to defend ourselves. Um, I would never want to use any knife to defend myself, but should that day come, I have it ready, you know, to do uh, what it needs to do, to do what I need to do. Um, now, the Benchmade Griptilian, of all designs, whether it's the 550 or the 551, does have a uh, trainer available. This one is for the uh, the 551. Um, the steel on this is just 440C, whereas the regular Griptilian is 154CM. You don't need good steel on a trainer. You just need steel. Um, now we have the drilled out holes to lighten up the blade to give me to give us the same balance and the same weight as the Griptilian. We have no tip whatsoever. Definitely important because when you're training with a partner, you don't want to kill your partner. Um, totally dull, all that. You can take dry erase marker and put that on here and that will actually show when you cut um, that will show up and that's kinda you know fun to do you can test you know uh, how well the person did you know or how well you know you did the uh, balance and everything of this is perfect for the training options now like I said the deployment of the Griptilian is lightning fast due to that axis lock. It just really allows the blade, there's no restriction on the blade when it's opening. Um, however, it does retain very well in its position. There is that, you know, uh, the, the, the axis lock in and of itself retains the blade in the handle while we keep it stored and that's very important because you don't want that happening in your pocket and then you go to put your hand in your pocket and ouch you know you get cut um, especially with a blade this sharp this knife comes razor sharp 
154 cm is a steel that if we want to back this relief edge up, we can do it because it's hard enough. Um, it's also a steel that can, you know, be sharpened to that, uh, you know, le uh, extent of sharpening where it's just hair shaving, hair popping sharp. Um, you know, I could probably shave with this knife, at least when I first got it. Um, I did touch it up recently, and it is incredibly sharp now. I think I have paper. Oh, good. I, look at that. I have paper. Hopefully, it'll do well for me. Ah. Ah. Of course, it's going to fudge up on me now. Oh, my God. Come on. All right. Well, I could probably use some more touch-ups, but this knife really is sharp, I promise. Um, you know, let me just give it one more shot here. I'm going to double up on it. Oh, come on, Jesus. <laughs> All right, well, you can see it is sharp. Um, I can definitely touch that blade up quite a bit, though. Oh, yeah, okay, I can feel it. It's rolled. But um, anyway, I promise it is a good knife. Um, and I, what did I do with this thing today? Oh, uh, uh, I had some larger brush coming into uh, my uh, stairwell, like stoop patio area, coming in through some uh, handlebars, uh, you know, railings. And I cut it off with that. So they were pretty hard. So I probably did that to my blade. However, it is very easy to sharpen. Uh, I can put, put a couple passes on this thing with a steel, and we will be back to hair shaving sharp again. Um, sorry I wasted all that time just trying to cut paper that won't cut, you know, that's really disappointing, you know, this one, where is it, this one I have never used yet, so hopefully this one, let's take a look here, probably just nervous, there we go, nice, you know, so it is very sharp, and it will cut, so when you do get the Benchmade Griptilian, it is incredibly sharp, and to keep it sharp, it is very easy, um, but I love having the blade, you know, with me at all times. Um, quickly, I'm going to go into this knife. This knife is one that my girlfriend got for me. Uh, God bless her. <laughs> um, the whole design of this knife is perfect for me. And the reason I say that is because I'm in school right now uh, for to be a police officer. I'm, take, I'm a criminal justice major and... Uh, psychology minor but I want to be a police officer and this knife really is perfect for someone who wants to be a police officer um, we have well the this is a customized griptilian and uh, the regular griptilians do not come with dark blue handles like this she got this for me because of the whole police thing the whole black and blue deal um, also we she chose this tip for me because as a police officer this tip is going to be safe for getting in between people and seat belts um, that is to say if choose the stamp paper again if this is a seat belt on my per on me this knife can slide because of that tip between me and the seat belt and you know we can cut that seat belt off if necessary um, it is much safer than having, not even necessarily this type of blade, but um, I don't think, think I have anything on me right now that would be dangerous for that. Um, but like if we're talking about like a buoy type clip point, uh, that would be dangerous. You know, so there's something that you don't want. Um, but the thumb hole is very fast, it's very nice. Um, so both versions are awesome. There's also a Tonto, you know, whatever. Um, they have their place, but if you guys have any questions about the Griptilian, about the trainer, about how to train with them, whatever, um, please leave me a message. I'd love to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and have a great rest of your day.